I'm the one that took down the Okeanos. Hummel turning to the team and be like, Oh man, I just shot Master in the face! <laughs> 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 oh shit. <laughs> that really broke you, didn't it? Kept you waiting, did I? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Yeez 8, like a Rosa of Donna. Yeah. Oh shit. They're like, our brother called. All the ocean pals. Oh, it's like a ghetto fight. The Okeanos is Aquaman. See, I'm thinking Aquaman, you're thinking a ghetto. In the ghetto. Well, because, like, you know how in, like... I do well, love how Dogie's like, not. weapons ready, everyone, and he's just like, my weapons are my fists. <laughs> well, like, because in the ghetto, it's you never fight one-on-one. -on -one. You always, like, I'll be back, and you, like, bring all your friends you friend, and all your yep. cousins and all your brothers and sisters and... There it is. <laughs> the Okeanos is just like, I brought my friends, my brothers, and my sisters. Every single tentacle. He's like, I brought all my face tentacles to this He's one. gonna whip your ass. If you say so, Loxia. Look at those whiskers. I know. <laughs> Wiggly little whiskers. I mean, I have like I feel like that on the inside sometimes <laughs> where I'm just like, <laughs> like <laughs> Oh shit, I forgot to swap out Rakota and Hummel. Alrighty, then this yeah, is my team like, taking out the Okeanos. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh well. At least we still got Adol. Adol's in the lead. Okay. So yeah, this is part boss battle, part raid. Because there's their stats right at the top, and Perro's like oh. doing commentary throughout the battle. Yeah. Doggy Squad doing well! Doggy Squad doing well! <laughs> but how to beat this guy is you gotta smack him with these with uh, the spore bombs. Yeah. And after a couple hits, you reveal its weak points. Like so. Ah! <laughs> He's like a giant, serious Zoidberg. <laughs> I was like, what? Like, I feel like that on the inside sometimes, but I can't quite remember, like, what it, it, it Zoidberg. I am Zoidberg on the inside. I'm <laughs> fan crap away. <laughs> remember when I shared you the sound of the murlocs from World of Warcraft? Yeah. <laughs> These little fish people that go, Ooh. Yeah, I was like, oh my god. They're <laughs> just like, hmm, found my spirit animal. Yep. What game is this? <laughs> World of Warcraft. Don't worry, we'll never play it. Why? It's a MMO. Oh, okay. So, like, I just don't see us getting into MMOs. Yeah. I don't know I'm just how being I feel honest. about it. Yeah. They're not bad. Um, there was a time when I was into MMOs. It was very short, unlike my father, who really was on board with MMOs. He liked that. Me, um... I don't know what it was. I think it was just, like, the monotony of it, and, like, yeah. it seemed like a routine thing that I wasn't on board with. Especially because, as you know, I have many hobbies and many things that I like to cram into a day to do the exact you know same thing. To? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm just like, she'll understand me. I quite literally didn't know what I wanted to do, so I grabbed my plank of wood, my clay, a piece of canvas, my watercolor pencils, a sketchbook, <laughs> and I also grabbed my paper and a journal back. And I was like, I'll figure something out. <laughs> One of these And then work. I got a migraine, so I took a nap. I and just... now I'm making soup. And now we're making the great old soup. <laughs> exactly. Well, right now we're trying to like have little, not so much bonding, but be productive like in the living room. Yeah. And we'll put something on, and every damn time I get interested in what's on. Because <laughs> the difference is, you like to watch shows when you're working, I like to listen to music. 
because I find shows too I, distracting. See, I think it's so interesting because I'm the opposite. If I have music on... I just got slapped while riding the current. He just... <laughs> 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 um, if I have music on while I'm trying to work, I'm too invested in the song. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, especially if it's music that I really like, I'm like, I didn't appreciate that part hard enough. Now I have to replay it. Oh, wow. Um, or like... I, I, I like hyper focus on a song or two, and that's the only song I want to listen to. Is there a way to dodge this? Because each time he does that, I eat shit. I don't remember. He does this like vacuum attack where he sucks you in and then yeah. bites you. And I cannot escape it. It reminds me of a boss from Kingdom Hearts, but what you're supposed to do is dash to, the opposite way. I think you have to hide behind one Something. of the boulders. Okay. Okay. Um, so it is not like the Kingdom Hearts boss. <laughs> but yeah, I, I get too invested in music. And then if, like, the music doesn't match the vibe of what I'm doing, mm -hmm. um, then I, I get, like, inspired to do something else. So it's like, I'll start something else. Mm. Whereas if I have on a show, it, like, focuses my brain to not wander but I don't have to pay attention to it. Man, he does it so quick, I have no chance to hide behind something. He got a tail. <laughs> ah, shit, he smacked me with the tail. <laughs> he said, yeah, I do. I'm like, well, that's a big tail. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, want to see what it does? What? I think there are different platforms you can go on to. That's what I'm trying to do, like, move from platform to platform, especially because the one time he spewed ink, and yeah. there was just ink all over the place. I'm like, I gotta get off this platform. Well, I mean, even, like, when you ride the currents up, do you see on the other sides? Yeah. See, here, there would, he goes with the ink, so... You would ride the current up here on I the go. different... Here I go. Yeah. Please don't smack me while I'm doing this. I can't do anything. Thank you. I'm not proud of it, but I used to do that to bugs when I was little. I would wait until they would, like, fly up and then I'd smack it. <laughs> That's what the Okeanos is doing to Adol. Oh, shit. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Dude, I was so upset when I found out that, like... Oh, I hit him right before he did the suction move. Nice. That I found out, like, bugs and stuff were alive. Well, of course they're alive. What do you, what do you mean? Well, like, because whenever me and my brother were quite young, uh -huh. um, we used to take, like, scissors and things and cut Daddy Longlegger's legs to different lengths and watch them, like, wobble around. Wow. Kind of a sadist. Well, like, we didn't have the understanding that they were, like, alive. Step on into my insect holocaust. Yeah. And then <laughs> when my mom, like, saw us doing it, and she was like, what are you doing? And we're like, look how funny it walks. She was like, that's a living creature. You can't do that. That hurts them. And I sobbed. <laughs> I had no idea. I was so upset. And then after that, I stopped, like, hitting the bugs, and, and I was like, no! And, but it backfired on my mom, because then she would have, like, a fly swatter, and I'd be like, don't kill it! Oh, God. <laughs> so, you're all like, oh, bugs are living things, too. What's the exception with stink bugs? I fucking hate them. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> they because I'm, I know they, you do, I mean. They, they're not in the ecosystem food chain oh you don't like scientific scientific animals do you <laughs> well it's just they don't serve a purpose well right they have well, no natural predator but they're also not invasive species but they're also not food to anything like other creatures don't eat them so it's like yeah mosquitoes are fucking annoying but mm -hmm. fish eat them yes Spiders are annoying, but they eat other pests that could damage gardens. Like, Correct. And then they get eaten by, like, birds and things. So, like, there's a food chain. There's yes. a circle of life. And then the stink <laughs> okay, bug is Mufasa. just like, sup. <laughs> they don't serve a purpose. <laughs> They're just annoying. Okay. All right. They're little kamikaze bugs. So if you're an insect, you must have a purpose. You must have a point. Well, if you're anything, you must have a purpose. You must have a point. Ah. Like, it doesn't have to be 
like I don't want to say meaningful because everything is meaningful, but like right. it doesn't have to be like we oh saw a, soul. a consumable. We, we you know. know the way the moral of soul. Yeah, but like oh shit, he just bitch slapped me. <laughs> mm. But again, it's give and take. If you can't give and you're only taking, right? Then like what what's the point? That's know. called parasite. Oh, we almost got him. This is the parasite of the sea. And we're gonna take him down. I wonder what part of him the Eternians ate. Tentacles. I'm sure he was like a big old dish of calamari. <laughs> Fried Okeanos rings. Anyone want some Okeanos rings? Oh my god, they would be like the size of blooming onions. We got him. You just killed an endangered species. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Flamestone! <clears throat> and now this nest is your grave. The babies are like, I will have vengeance! <laughs> I'll see you in these ten! <laughs> Because Yeast 9 doesn't have an ocean, but Yeast 10 does. I smell my garlic roasting. Oh, God. Let them celebrate. <laughs> Smells so good. <laughs> yeah, garlic! Woo! Roasted garlic. Did you see us, Captain Marlboros? Did you see how we fought? Aww. Donna's like, yeah, oh, this is um, weird. about that. <laughs> Donna's like, how are you crying underwater? <laughs> 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 Let's not think about it. <laughs> Technically, Rakota and Hummel did it. <laughs> Rakota, Hummel, and Adol. Can you cry underwater? <laughs> Um, technically there can be, uh, different bodies of water within water based on the density. Okay. Because I know, like, in the ocean there are, like, pools. Gotcha. But there's, like, a density difference in the water. Ah. So, like, the, the Blue Lagoon, is it Blue Lagoon or Goo Lagoon? From SpongeBob. SpongeBob? Goo Lagoon. Um, is probably, like, a denser water within the ocean. Oh, okay. Yeah, I always wondered that, too. I'm just like, wait, how's there water under the... Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think about it. <laughs> Gotta go back to camp and give uh, Donna some Excedrin. Right? She's getting some nasty migraines. Some Excedrin and a Coke. Girl, I feel ya. It's the only thing that'll work for me. Excedrin and a Coke. Ah. Well, that's very insightful. Yeah. So it's like... Um... It also looks like it has to do with the pressure and salt content. Mm-hmm. Brine Pool of Death. <laughs> Ooh. Sounds like a location in a D&D &D campaign. <laughs> <laughs> you enter the Brine Pool of Death. That's insane. It's a deadly pool on the ocean floor that causes instant death. No kidding. Mm-hmm. Like poison or just like combustion to where you just... Because that was in the movie we saw The Abyss when the bad guy like got stuck and yeah. the pressure just kept building until... Yeah. Well, it looks like for this one, it is um, such high levels of salt mm -hmm. that if you're in it, you would go into toxic shock. Oh my god. 
the more you know. Yeah. I always thought it was really cool, like, in the Dead Sea, mm -hmm. people that can just, like, lay on top because yeah. it's so dense, like, yep. you can't even swim. God, science is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> All the guys are like, hey, you should go talk to Donna. <laughs> We're going to be leaving soon. I know. And then Adol's like, guys, she's like a millennia older than me. <laughs> oh, how small Adol is with everyone. <laughs> He's like, I'm just a child. I'm just a little guy. Just a little redhead. Does Adol have a soul? Because he's a ginger. And gingers don't have souls. I mean... I guess not. <laughs> That's why he's so fearless. There you go. I think that was like my favorite part of Hercules. Disney's Hercules. Is when they take his godliness. Mm -hmm. uh, he turns into a redhead. <laughs> but then when he like redeems himself... And is welcome back as a god. He's blonde. He's blonde again. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Bruh. Because <laughs> gingers don't have souls. <laughs> okay, uh, so... It makes my tummy fluttery. <laughs> this is the part of the game where I'm just like, okay, the Okeanos is dead, but we still got some game left, I guess. And this is where some people are just like, Really? I, I could have sworn we'd be wrapping it up soon. See, though, it's like my my thing against that is you still have the entire mystery of Donna. Yeah. Why is she there? Like, if you kill the Okeanos and then you're just like, hey, deuces, like, that's an entire plot hole. Well, a of, lot of like, people are just like, the Okeanos is a more suitable final boss. And I'm just like, for at all. The actual final yeah, boss is, is for Donna's Donna. final boss. Yeah. But it's like... Holy shit, did Nina just give me a recipe? <laughs> Maybe. You've come a long way, Sister Nina. See, Baby steps compared to the other do, castaways, but a long way. I do way. kind of feel bad since I didn't do her side quest. She just stayed like the useless nun. Oh, okay. Like she hasn't... I was like, way to weigh down the team, Nina. <laughs> she hasn't grown compared to like most of the characters. Yeah. I mean, but, like, she's she a still grows. You know? mm -hmm. I don't want to. I want to die before I'm old unless I'm like Sylvia. <laughs> I will be old if I can be Sylvia. Generational goals. Right. When you're 60, I'm going to give you a big ass sword for you to pose with. Yes. <laughs> Well, when I was playing this, I was wondering, so is this the moment where it's just like, you can talk to Donna, or you can talk to Loxia? You know, choose your lady? One of those kind of, like, role-playing scenarios? Well, because the, like... But it very much pushes towards, no, you gotta talk to Donna. Yeah. To progress this story. Well, because, like, why would you talk to Loxia? Because mm, she, she's an option. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, romance isn't a part of the story. Yeah. You're right. Like, it'd be one thing if it was like, oh, there's like a romantic Undertone. theme mm -hmm. and you would like choose your lady, but it's not. So like the next part of the story is we have to figure out why the fuck is Donna here? Yeah. Like. Congratulations. She's like, uh, yeah, I'm super happy for you, but, um, what, uh, uh I don't know what to do. <laughs> Listen. Would you like to come with us? I'll help you regain your memories. Uh, yeah, let's try that. No, she didn't like that. Well, I'm pretty sure I, I picked the, the upper one, and she's like, I can't go. Like, I belong here. That's what I figured she'd say, so I'm like, I'll help you. And she's like, no, focus on yourself. 
And I'm just like, well, there's no, there's no right answer, is there? Well, because Donna <laughs> right now is having, like, a crisis that she's a burden. Mm, okay. Because it's like, their entire journey and castaway village was get rid of the Okeanos so we can build a ship and go home. Mm-hmm. And then Donna shows up and they're like, well, what the fuck are we going to do with her? Hold on. Wait, oh, I, love I love this, this part. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> He's just like, how you guys do? <laughs> I was so hot when I drink. I'm just like, hi, everyone. Super easy for me to make friends. <laughs> Adel's like, damn, it's so hot. I was getting somewhere, getting some vital information. <laughs> you gotta come staggering in. Sahad's my dad. Oh. Because <laughs> I was just explaining how I'm Sahad. Because well, I am your dad. dad. <laughs> you are a shirtless... <laughs> I, I am the, the shirted. The shirted father. <laughs> For context, my dad would never put a shirt on, especially during the summer. Like, he'd just always, like, take his shirt off and just sit at his computer desk, no shirt. And I'm like, that is the one thing, that is the one image that it's just like, on the one hand, I'd be like, hmm, topless wife. On the other hand, it's just like, oh, that's my dad. I'm like, no, my dad. <laughs> Getting some mixed messages here. <laughs> Confusing feelings. Oh, here we go. On that day. Oh, there it is. The faded day. And the the, the text is in red. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Well, red is a significant color for Eternians. Yes. It happened again. Well, it's interesting because... Dude, like, I hate it when that... Okay, so that happens, like, in real life. And, he, like, here. Do you remember when it... <laughs> it was just, like, for a split second... Everything goes dark, and I'm like, did that just happen? Oh, I thought you were talking about the switch. Did I, like, did I linger on a blink? Like, so what happens is only the Nintendo Switch, and I get why they do it, but it's very annoying. If it lingers for so long, it fades a little bit. Yeah. No, no, I, I meant, like, down. in the story, the sunlight flickers, and she goes, there's something inside the sun. Oh, right. And I'm right. like, that happens here in real life. Like you and I were in the kitchen and just like, <laughs> it's like the universe blinked. We have scarlet visions. And I was just like, did that just happen? Like, Star? you know, did I linger on a blink? Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> like, I see what you're saying. Okay. But yeah, red is a significant color to the Eternians. It's, it's a bad color. It's a bad omen. Donna's on a mission. See, I kind of want Sarai's hair. Yeah? Yeah. With, like, the chunky highlights. The little highlights in there? Okay. Donna has highlights, too. Uh, now I'm starting to wonder if all Eternian girls have highlights. Hey, Olga, what you got? I mean, she has highlights, too. I thought so. Yeah. They're just green. And a different shape. They're like... They're like hard lines. <laughs> well, I meant like... Like if I went to a salon and showed them Sarai's hair and I'm like, I want this. <laughs> Neat. To get like chunky highlights. So it's a very 90s thing. Is it? Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know style for shit, so I'll take your word for it. I would say I want Donna's hair, but the last time my hair turned blue, you made fun of me. Well, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> that was a bath bomb. <laughs> and I was like, hey, what yeah. happened here? I like, You're like, shut up. <laughs> I had my hair cut and then I, I had it dyed to be like almost silver. Mm -hmm. And um, I put a bath bomb in the tub and I was soaking and uh, it, it turned my hair blue. <laughs> but not like an even blue. Like, some of my hair was still silver, and then some of it was just, like, 
like like bunny blue. I mean, is that how you plan on getting Donna's hair? Just no. another bath bomb on the whole thing? <laughs> on the whole caboodle. When Olga said, as you wish, what she meant was, I love you, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah. Getting the evacuation in order. This is nice. So this is basically like what killed the dinosaurs. Yeah. The old meteor that took out the Eternians in this. I see where it's going. No problem. But keep in mind, though, because Donna lied to them the first time she had a scarlet vision and said that she saw blue waves. And they were like, oh, that means peace and prosperity. Yeah. So all of the Eternians are thinking there's going to be peace and prosperity. And now they're evacuating. Yeah. We're ready, Sarai. And so it begins. Commence barrier deployment. Yes, your majesty. Alert I think Sarai has my favorite aesthetic. Sarai is really cool. Mm -hmm. I'd love to know more about her. Oop, oop, we're getting full on animation. <laughs> <laughs> and yet another scene that reminds me of Atlantis, the Lost Empire. Hey, we just watched that in a uh, regular show. Yeah, <laughs> we did. <laughs> That wasn't so bad. I guess it didn't kill the dinosaurs. I cannot say for certain, but it seems to have protected us. Donna's like, it's not over yet. What's wrong, Donna? There's more than one. What? It's not over yet. The next wave is inbound. And this is when I realized, oh, this is an intentional attack. Yes. Because it, one meteor falling is just like, well, that's a happenstance. Mo this? Yeah. <laughs> that's called assault. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like, the hell's going? And like, look, they're all targeting the capital. It's not like they're sporadically like hitting over in the mountains, some fall into the ocean. No, they're, they're like aiming for the capital. So the first time I saw this, I was just like, oh my god, are we going to get, like, aliens ah. to send down and be like, Earthlings, your time is nigh. <laughs> and I'd be like, please no, don't. No, that, uh, that is, he's nine. Monstrums, the time is nigh. Ah, okay. Alrighty. Chief Guard is helping up north. You two so what are we doing? Evacuating? Getting everybody out? Looks like it, yeah. Alrighty. Everybody this way. Oh, Olga, don't you die. <laughs> that sounded bad. That sounded bad. <laughs> You know, this game is capable of having dialogue as you run. Shouldn't you girls be <laughs> hauling ass as well, you talk? Well, there's fog. Where did it come from? It's so thick. Where did it come from? They were like, listen, we've read Stephen King's The Mist. Oh, shit. I can't see or hear huh. anything. What's going on? Okay. We're just gonna go all the way. Whoa, whoa! Got like little wisp monsters. Yeah. Oh come on! I hmm. couldn't really damage those things. Yeah. Alrighty. We can't hurt them yet. All right, we'll just ignore them. Yeah, I'm not doing any damage. 
Um, and I'm I'm hitting them too. It's going okay. right through them. They're like. Nah, 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 nah. Did you get your third form yet? Yeah, it's coming up. Okay. My attacks won't land. I don't think you can miss getting the third form. No, no, you have to get all three of her forms. Yeah. I was just trying to remember what ones you had, because it had been a while since we were in the past. I'm building she spinch. <laughs> <laughs> Playing coy. <laughs> well, we see how well that works whenever I was like, ah, I bet Dagrin's the bad guy. Hmm. I bet number one is that kid. <laughs> huh? It's Stranger Things. Oh. Okay. Hold on. I'll free you. Listen, that was a full on like Charlie Cox moment of like the <laughs> <laughs> I mean I must say that I was impressed with myself. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. It's <laughs> 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 literally what it was like. You paused that some bitch and you pulled out a whiteboard. I didn't even know we had a whiteboard, and you just went to town with That's the string like, and the you will sticky never notes. Believe me, if, if this turns out to be right, and I'm like, I knew it, you'd be like, Yeah, I'm sure you did. Still stop it. There must be something we can do. Almost. Thou art. Forgive me. Tis nothing. Astios. I am called Astios. I am the spirit of light. Like you, I too wish to forestall the end. Please, use this. And here comes our third and final form. Light, give me power! You get high heels in this form. <laughs> <laughs> or wait, I think she always had high heels. Yeah. Instead you get bunny ears or something. Well, they're like, you know how like power? the Valkyrie have... What are those things called? Is that just part of like their helmet or I think so. Does it have like an actual name? I'm sure they probably do have an actual name. Say nothing of the stars themselves. But I don't know what it is. All right, well here we go. The form of light. I will. We did it. I like this form cuz she's very fast. Yeah. Cloak of light, reveal invisible objects. Oh, that'll be fun later. Mm hmm All right, now I'll bet I can kill these things. Yep. All right, bring it up. Oh, oh, I unlocked that and too. And you open the door. Yep, so I can go to the next floor, to the sanctuary crypt. No problem. Uh, anyways, I'll kill these squirrel butterfly things. <laughs> I think they're like flower seeds. Flower seeds? Okay. Well, that makes sense. Like the the seed of a new evolution. I didn't even get to kill them all. The game was just like, all right, moving on. <laughs> it's like, all right, you get it. You you understand the. It's point. like, yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Are those Saurian footsteps? I don't know. Are they? Uh, how could a Saurian be here? Ooh. Big boy. Yeah. More mammal than primordial. Oh shit. Well, it has like all of the seasons on it. I'm seeing this. Cobalt Adalon of the Fog. The hell's an Adalon? Lycanus. I don't know, but I like him. No, that is a very cool design. I dig it. Giant behemoth with a tree for a back. That's cool. Alright, bring it on. I'll bet I have to use the light form. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just got it, and there's a boss fight, so I guess I gotta use the light form. You know. Nope, maybe not. Oh, fuck. I'm frozen. Change, I've been Elsa. <laughs> Quick, get me out of here. I oh, look, think I gotta I've use... Oh, look at that. I've been impaled. Oh, shit. <laughs> so it freezes you, and then Toro, Toro, charges right into you. Alright, so we gotta use Grotica to get rid of these stone shackles. And then we can kill it with Luminos, or Astios. Astios, yeah. Luminos is a whole other game. Ouch. All right, you. Quit it. <laughs> there we go. That's the final shackle. Shit. How the hell do you dodge the frozen spell? 
Well, that'll work. <laughs> that'll give me a small advantage. Oh, big boy. I'm a little nervous because this is a boss and I'm just fighting Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have teammates to switch to. Well, that and I have a lot less items than I did on my Addle <laughs> run. No, we're doing okay. Until it does this. The hell is this? Okay. Oh, here we go. Freaking ice meteors. Oh, oh, cool. We can flash move them. Nice. Hi. Okay. No. Don't don't even try to attack it while that big old aura is around it. <laughs> Learned a lesson. All right. All right. We get it. There. Have some medicine. We are so close to getting it to stagger. See that light blue meter right there? When that yeah. reaches the top, then it staggers. I don't need any of that. So I have no items that get rid of freeze. That's a bummer. All that is with Adol. He's <laughs> like, oh, you need some freeze medicine. Maybe in a thousand years they'll invent that. <laughs> oh, you're going to do that again. Lovely. All right, let's see if we can do a little better. Dun, 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 dun. I can't wait yeah. until we, like, stream. Mm -hmm. Then I can be like, switch your forms. <laughs> yes, you do a lot of damage in this form, but you also do a lot of damage when you're her green form. Okay. The green form's slow, though. She is slow, but she hits hard. I like being quick. <laughs> quick and nimble when I need to be. There we go. Staggering on the ground. <laughs> very cool, very cool, very cool. Nice. That's new. Oh my. <laughs> Come on, we almost got it. Ah! That's it. That's it. A new species is now extinct. <laughs> That's how evolution works. <laughs> Never seen that species of Saurian before. Donna, are you there, Donna? Is that Olga? The fog is. Oh, that's neat. And the fog is gone. I guess the monster generated the fog. Now that the old Saurian is gone. Donna. Oh, I'm just outside the capital? I, I thought I made a lot more progress than that. I, don't know. But right now, I have dreams like that where I feel like I'm making like a big old stride and yeah. then I turn around and I only um, went like two steps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, that boss battle. Jesus. <laughs> It's okay, everyone's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Zero casualties. <laughs> this is fine, we're fine, everything's fine. Mr. Du Mr. Blue Sky, where'd you go? I'm just a little dark rain cloud. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. tree you planted it's protecting the nice still if another falling star should we should have planted more of those <laughs> stand it is it over yes i think so but she's like i've seen what happens 
Oh. Not again. I can't be safe. Donna? What's wrong? Oh, there it is. Donna, what's happening? The Eye of Sauron. I have to do this. I've been chosen. <laughs> <laughs> Olga's like the shit. It looks like some kind of symbol. I did this suddenly. And so it begins. Selection and rejection. Ah, of course. Who are you? Mysterious road figure with uh distorted Not voices. <laughs> you must be the antagonist. <laughs> A little late, but Glad to see you show up at last. Who the hell are you? Where did you come from? There rests the true purpose of the great tree, unknown to even the chosen builders. What? It almost looks like the robed figure is steaming. Well, whatever the robed figure is, it's female. From the attire and like the yeah. painted nails on the feet. Well, that doesn't mean anything. They vanished. No. No. I get a female vibe. Guys can have painted nails, too. <laughs> yeah. But I, I've seen characters in this game. <laughs> yeah. Just a hunch. I feel like Hummel would paint his nails. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Did you see it, too? That was Donna's... Oh, did everyone have the same dream this time? You. Yep. Oh. Could it be? Huh? Uh, yeah. It was just like the time with the crystal. But why did it happen here? At all. <laughs> At all. <laughs> <laughs> it's Donna. She's gone. Oh no. I like how casual Dogie is like, so you dreamed a memory, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is their eighth adventure. <laughs> Be like, dude. Nothing yeah. can surprise Dogie. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever done that, like dreamed a memory. Yes, actually. That's really odd. Because it still has like dream features. Mm-hmm. No, they're, they're my least favorite dreams. Because it's just like, no, don't make me watch this again. <laughs> I don't know. I like. I don't think I've ever dreamed a memory that wasn't sad. Yeah. Like, a lot of mine are about my parents. Mm-hmm. Mine are about, like, childhood missed opportunities, like, deep-rooted fears and insecurities, stuff like that. See, I don't get that as much as, like... Oh, uh, lucky. <laughs> I, like, I'll dream that, like, my, my parents are here. Oh, okay. And it's like, I know they're dead. Mm -hmm. They know they were dead, mm -hmm. but they're here. And I'm just like, <laughs> And then I wake up to Luna, like, <laughs> like, in my face. And I'm mm -hmm. like, baby girl. So if they don't find Donna in the book, I wonder how this part plays out. Well, at least they haven't found her yet. Okay. So I don't know if they're going to do that. Because I mean, like, naturally, they've left a lot out. Yes. Just because there's only so much that you can do. Yeah. But um, from what you've told me, they left out, like, more of the game stuff and less of the oh, narrative. Yeah. Like, they... They don't really talk about any of the random encounters or right. on-screen encounters or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, 
a lot of the bigger things are left out. Like, there's mm-hmm. no, like, raids or hunts or anything like exactly. that. Exactly, yeah. Um, some of, well, the bosses, some of them some, have been yeah. um, talked about, but not all of them. Right. And I even think some areas were left out. Okay. So, and then they just, like, kind of go quickly through um, the characters of, like, oh, yeah, we found Dina, and we found this person and that person. I like how there's this urgency to find Donna, and Euron has the balls to be like, oh, while you're at it, can you hunt down this monster for me? Yeah. <laughs> just like, I mean, I know it's very important. I know she's missing. Yeah, I know but... she's missing, but this, this is a bulletin board. <laughs> 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 Gotta put it to use. It's just like you couldn't have picked a better time. <laughs> I think well, since you're out that way. I think I made E's <laughs> nine mad at me. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> there's a there's a part where it's like explore the city mm-hmm. to try and find Dogi. So I'm like walking around, and every time I like go a certain direction, they're like, "No, walk around and try to find clues to where Dogi is." And there's just, like, a few words every single time it turns you around. Ah. So it's like, explore the city, find Dogi. Explore more of the city to find clues to find Dogi. You need to explore the city. (laughs) 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 Just like, I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, here we go. It's Hummel's turn. Hummel versus the right man versus Master Kong. <laughs> Sorry. That, that's the spinoff. Hummel versus the right mango. <laughs> He's like, I got mad diarrhea. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ooh, that was spiffy. Oh, my God. Anyways. All right, let's take on. I just. Picture Master now. Kong. I just picture Hummel. Beware. I'm the one that took down the Okeanos. Hummel turning to the team and be like, Oh man, I just shot Master in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> that really broke you, didn't it? Oh, okay. So this, what I'm experiencing is called mania. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> From not being on the. <laughs> <laughs> I like this side effect. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. It's like a rocket jump. I like that. Fatten. I can't talk today. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> to hell with it. <laughs> oh, my lamp. This just ain't happening. Just shut up and let the fight go. <laughs> um, hmm. SP regen, break rate. Yeah, SP regen. There we go. I'm not afraid. I'm really excited. I feel like the soup that I'm about to make is something that you would make in this game. Oh, really? Yeah. Food ready! <laughs> like, it has leeks. And cauliflower and red peppers and potatoes. is this corn? Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> story so, time. Um, I went to the grocery store to pick up a couple items for dinner. Mm-hmm. And while I was there, I was like, okay, like there's some sales on on fresh vegetables going on, so I was like, I'm gonna pick up a couple things and start my soup. Mm-hmm. So that way the cauliflower doesn't go bad in the crisper drawer. Mm-hmm. Because I already forgot it was there. So I grab all the all the things and I grab like a bundle of leeks and I don't know if anyone else out there knows what leeks are. But it's kind of like if cabbage and celery had a love child. Alright. Um it, they're really good. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like the the texture of celery, but more of like the flavor of like a cabbage. Mm-hmm. And I'm at the checkout. And the girl that's ringing me up is probably like 15. Mm-hmm. And she's like, she got Gun. shallots, no problem. She rang the shallots up and was like, golden. 
Got it. And then she's like <laughs> looking at the leaks and she's just like, <laughs> I can see the confusion. And she just looks at me and she's like, is this corn? <laughs> I was like, no, no, sweetheart, that's not corn. Um, and then I was like, no, they're leeks. And she just was so confused. So confused. And the woman in front of me, the, there was an older lady in front of me getting her groceries. And she was like, what's a leek? And I'm like, do you people not know what vegetables are? <laughs> so, I was just like amazed. And I'm like, granted, I didn't really know what a leak was until a couple years ago when yeah, I had same. a leak. Um, but. And there you go. And that's the story of leaks Is that corn? at the grocery store. They look nothing alike, mind you. Like there's, No, they don't look like corn. There's there's no similarities between a leak and corn. But I, I get the celery and cabbage. Yeah. Like, I always considered them like a highbrow celery. <laughs> yeah, but it has more of like the potent flavor of of cabbage. Like a cabbage. Gotcha. Okay. Cool, but I'm so excited because I'm gonna blend it all up, and I'm gonna use some of my homemade veggie broth that's in the slow cooker. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Oh boy! Oh boy! Ooh, and I got portobello mushrooms to roast into like mushroom bacon. Nice be delicious now hold on a second where is my exit here there's a lot of exits and only one of them progresses the story <laughs> is it this one well you just went in a circle i know i did hold on just gotta make sure because there's multiple floors here your team is like you're going in circles at all okay yeah nothing down here and this is why it takes me an hour to do a level <laughs> it doesn't take me that long. But I'm always just like, yes, out here. Yes, cutscene means we're doing it right. We need to hurry. Something on your mind? <laughs> I'm gonna run down and take my garlic out of the oven so it doesn't burn. Okay. I'll be back in a second. Okie dokie. I even took my slippers off so I can move quicker. Ah. <laughs> Act like it's a piece of equipment. <laughs> they only slow me down. Increase my agility stats. That way I can get to the mealing time. This is an interesting bit though. And something I could learn. Something I could apply to day-to-day -day life. A lesson I should have learned a while ago. So, Loxia is just like, I wish I knew what to say to make her feel better. And they're they're kind of like, mm, it's not the point. Yeah. Like, you're not supposed to make her feel better. You're not supposed to find the right thing to say. And I'm just like... Yeah, I have that issue a lot. <laughs> where, like, someone's upset and I'm just like, what's the right thing to say here? And I'm missing the point. For me, I don't really know what to say when people are sad. I just hug them. I'm like, <laughs> this is all I can offer you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you need a hug? It's either hug or warm would you like a warm beverage? <laughs> if I'm upset, you're like, I'll make you a bath. Yes, I'll make you a bath. It's all I can think of. Sometimes the ugliest solution to a problem ends up being the best one. Which way do we go, George? Which way do we go? <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. We gotta find Donna first. Donna, then garlic. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of it and put it in the Discord. Yeah. I'm all for it. Welcome to Vista Ridge. Grickus. Oh, great. Locust monsters. <laughs> they have arrived at last, your greatest fear. Okay. 
I'm going to paint a picture for you. All right. So in the room we are currently sitting in. Yep. This used to be my brother's bedroom. Gotcha. His bed was like against that wall. Mm-hmm. And his dresser was like over here. And he had a TV up there. Tiny room, but go on. Yeah. Yeah. Very tiny room. I offered to switch with him multiple times and he said no. <laughs> um, Because my room was always really cold. Ah. Uh, yeah. But... <laughs> There was one time we were sitting in here, we were watching a movie, um, and a locust flew in, and it was mm. above the door, and my brother and I were huddled in this corner, like, by the bed. Oh, he don't like them either. <laughs> screaming, and my mom came busting in, and the locust took flight. <laughs> so, him and I are screaming bloody murder. My mom is trying to catch the locust with her bare hands. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> which made us scream harder, and she was like, Just get out! <laughs> Shit. I don't have Donna yet, so I can't move that blockade. Damn it, Donna. <laughs> I'm one short, and it's your fault. <laughs> she did get the locust, for anyone who was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> oh my god. We live... I'm like, I don't know if you guys had the same issue because you lived right next to a bunch of trees. Mm -hmm. In the backyard, we used to have a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. We were night swimming. Mm. And me and my brother were already in the pool and my sister was getting ready to jump in from the deck. All right. <laughs> and a locust smacked her square in the face. Damn. <laughs> Clumsy little buggers, aren't they? Oh my god. <laughs> they are not graceful. Anything that flies with a shell just isn't graceful. Yeah. Yeah, you did mention, like, you like most flying insects, just not if they have a shell. It's the sound they make. Like, this, I can, like, hear the, their wings, no. like, hitting their yeah. shell, and it just freaks me out. Like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Whereas, like, butterflies? Golden. Yeah. Moths? Golden. Bees? Bees? Love them. Yep, I know you do. Flies. I'm fine with flies. Yeah, they're fine. Mm -hmm. Mosquitoes? Annoying, but... Yeah, annoying, but like... Male mosquitoes are fine. They're like the big <laughs> clumsy ones. Yeah. Hornets? Well... <laughs> I don't really like a hornet, but... I just leave them alone. Hornets are fucking mean. They are mean. Like a fertile ants with wings. They are. For those of you that don't know, a fertile ants is one of the most deadliest snakes in Latin America. And they are. They are very territorial, and they have a venom that can paralyze you, but also. I mean, um, it will kill you cause within permanent like brain 30 damage. minutes. Yeah. It, and that's like that's pushing it. Oh, this is cool though. We've got ourselves a little praying mantis here. Yeah, a fertile ants is. Like, you don't even have to be in its territory. You could be walking past its territory. Yeah. And it will bite you. Well, yeah, the victim that was on the documentary, she was yeah. bit, and she had to, like, go through physical therapy and, like, relearn the yeah. English language. Well, she was... Speech I, therapy, I think she I mean. was, like, 13. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, within 15 minutes, like, her body shut down. Yeah. And, yeah, she still can't do certain things like she still has to walk with aid mm -hmm. um yeah she had to relearn how to write how to read yep. how to talk like her motor skills are still like all lovely. of that for being on a snake's property she wasn't even on his Get property she was property. on the sidewalk next to his property <laughs> Still, that's a little too close. Yeah, and it was on video too, and they showed it, and he was fucking fast. Man. Get off my property! Okay, did we clean out all the bugs? All right, They're we'll come back snakes, for though. Master Kong with our last battle with Adol. I think one of my favorite snake videos is the guy that's feeding all of. I think they were cobras. 
Or are you talking about the Viper Keeper? Yeah. And he calls them like little pet names. Yeah, like, come on. You're a real toad, aren't you today? <laughs> and the one that like escapes its little enclosure and is chasing him. And he's like, I'm, I'm trying to give you your food, but you're just being a little wonky, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just like, you're so casual right now. Yeah, like, he's just like, no, not the camera. Come on. I love Viper Keeper. Because, <laughs> like, he claims very much that, like, these are deadly animals. Yeah. But he's been with them for so long that, like, he treats them like a confused pit bull. Yeah. It's well, just it's, like, it's oh, this... come on now. Well, it's the same with, like... <laughs> hey, look at the size of that mosquito. Oh. That's a female. <laughs> it's a mean one, Mr. Grinch. But it was the same with the crocodile hunter, being like, these are not mm -hmm. pets. They're dangerous, but... They are also meant to be here and respected. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, this area has some brutal enemies. I don't think there's a single enemy that I like fighting here. Okay, allied. The little axolotls or whatever you want to call them. They're harmless. They're fine. <laughs> they come skipping in and it's just like, alrighty then. There's a video of like this YouTube channel that like feeds a lot of things to their like big African frog. Yeah. And it's just like worms, a mouse, I've a seen, spider, I've seen him anything. Eat the spider. And he eats an axolotl and all the comments are just like, that's an endangered species! No! <laughs> 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 They're extremely rare! Don't be feed them to your fucking frog! Oh my god. But like it's basically just like an ongoing series of like will it eat it and 99.9% .9 of the time the answer is yes yeah this thing's go-to reflex is will eat it fit it. in my mouth yeah <laughs> well frogs are really interesting because like they can eat whatever they want essentially and if it makes them sick they just pull they just, their stomach out yep and they clean out their stomach and then just put it back in yep that and is like, some very Scarring footage. Yeah. <laughs> See something a little like... Well, I follow this channel of a woman that has a pet crab. Mm-hmm. And, um... It's the one with the hat, isn't yes. it? Yes. I got you. <laughs> so cute. Um, little Howie. Howie the crab. Aw. And the first time that she saw the crab, like, cleaning itself, mm -hmm. she was really worried because she'd never seen Howie do that before. Mm-hmm. So she is, like, trying to find vets and trying to figure out, like, if her crab is okay. Mm -hmm. And it turns out she was just cleaning her little crabby lady parts. <laughs> and uh, she videoed it. Mm -hmm. And it's really fucking creepy because they have to, like, crack open their, like, little undercarriage. Oh, wow. So Clean out their storage. <laughs> yeah. And so it's, like, with, with her little, like, feelers, she had to, like, open up her belly. Ooh. And, like, she was using her little little arms to like scrape around in there and <laughs> it was really Adam? weird <laughs> Adam, everyone you came for me why did you run away donna this is triggering some sad memories from other rpgs i played i hope it doesn't go in that direction of course not i could never hate you you've been such a help to us donna now it's our turn Don't to help leave, you. please. Let us help you regain your memories. Thank you, but this is something I need to do on my own. The end of this game, I'm the sure true ending, is right satisfying but so sad. I believe the term is bittersweet. The Scarlet which are my favorite kind of endings. Yeah. Well, it's very, like, melancholic. Okay. Because I wouldn't even And this say is the sleep. true ending, not the yeah. normal ending. Okay. I would be pissed if I just got the normal ending. That's the point. <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't go the extra mile? There's, there's the credits for you. But it's not a satisfying ending. Well, you weren't satisfied with the content we gave you, so. <laughs> there you go. Not really sure what to say here. <laughs> so we're gonna try. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Adolf's right. One way or another, we'll part ways. That ain't true. That's right, Sahad, so you take it away, because I have no idea what the fuck we're pulling here. I think Sahad so, huh? 
Okada is one of my favorite characters in the in terms of being like well rounded. Okay. Um, because yeah, he's goofy and he's funny, but he is also like a husband and a father. He can very much be like the rock that grounds the entire group. Yeah. But he also is like has a lot of wisdom. Yes. So it's like he's funny and goofy, but he's also just like the dad, mm -hmm. you know. We are all strangers who found ourselves cast away on this island, but despite our differing origins and stations, we banded together for the sake of survival. Yes, your circumstances may differ somewhat, Donna, but if you put those circumstances aside, you'll see that you're a castaway like the rest of us. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. You're part of this crew, through thick and thin. Breaks my heart to hear you say you're different from the rest of us. Adol. Everyone. She's like, well, practically, I am a different species. <laughs> we were cast away from our homes. You were cast away from your era. It's the same. <laughs> same it's the same. <laughs> same, same, but different. <laughs> I'm happy you care about us so much. But why would you say that? It is the same. <laughs> That's right. I kind of want her to trust fall into the group. Trust fall? Because she's like standing above them. Uh, just like, oh, trust fall. I got you. Thank you. I understand. If we are destined to part ways, I want to accept that destiny with a smile and be true to myself when I bid you all farewell. That's why I need to know who I really am. Adol, everyone, please help me restore my memories. Alrighty then. <laughs> I don't know how much help we'll end up being, but we'll do whatever we can. <laughs> I don't know how much help we'll end up being, but we'll try. Fucking Hummel thinks he's a Lannister. We always repay our debts. <laughs> <laughs> don't say it. Don't fucking say it. <laughs> the Lannisters send their regards. The Lannisters send their regards. All right. Well, let's find out what really happened on that Thursday that led to Chris, Chris Wood's death. And we're going to find out in the next episode exactly what all went down and what awaits for us in the Valley of the Kings. Oh, yeah. We're in the end game, people. So good. So good. Oh, fuck, it's snowing. <laughs> the Eternians are like, we are not dressed for this. <laughs> Where do you think you're going with all that stuff? Where? Anywhere but here. The question is, is it snow or is it ash? Ooh. See, I was thinking like the Ice Age or it was like the coming of the, the Ice Age or something like that, but ash is a little fucked up too. That'd be very unpleasant. Well, it's clear that like the meteor shower blocked out the sun. Yeah. That's what it's going for here. So like the plants are going to die. and. Yep. So it's kind of going for, there were a lot of theories about like the extinction era. Because there's fault. Yep. Dust and smoke blanketing the sky are yeah. causing it to rain ash. Oh, it is ash. But yeah, that's basically the extinction is just like, first it was just like meteor hit, everything was wiped out. Not exactly. Meteor hit, it wiped out that general vicinity but it caused like major changes in the plant life, which died out, yeah. which affected the herbivores, which starved. And then when they died, that affected the carnivores. Yeah. So it was a gradual period of suffering. Well, that's why I'm so aggressive about the bees when people are like, oh, well, who the fuck cares? And I'm like, <laughs> if they go, we go. Uh -huh. Like, 
And they're like, oh, well, there are other pollinators. True. However, they, A, don't pollinate as quickly. They don't pollinate as often. Mm -hmm. And they don't live as long as we do. All right, we got to go to the Valley of the Kings. I'll leave you here with all the villagers who are very pissed. Good luck! (laughs) Okay, bye! (laughs) All right, next episode, we continue. Toodles!